I'm an introvert, as are many of you are introverts as well. Lots of us introverts here. Every year since college, I've taken the Myers-Briggs personality test. And for those of you who know where I'm going on this, you can put your letters into the chat. Every year since college, I've taken the test. It's 60, 70 questions. There's no right or wrong way to answer them. Just answer, answer them honestly. That's all you got to do. And when you're done, you'll get assigned four letters. Every year since college, I N F P. The first letter is going to be either an I or an E. Introvert or an extrovert. And every year I've been, that's me, introvert. And I've said it many times as a, I'll hold up my iPhone 8, my ancient relic. If this was a big party and tons of people, the, the extroverts would be right here in the center. But you'd find me in one of the four corners watching all the extroverts. Maybe I'd be, maybe I'd be outside looking through the window because <laughs> I didn't even want to be inside the party. <laughs> looking through the window. Look at those guys. Look at that guy with the lampshade on his head. He's an, he's an extrovert. The point of this is, yeah, I went to the beach today. <laughs> Long story, bringing it all back home. Today's my favorite day to go because it's transition day. People have to check out. Usually they check out like last night or early in the morning. Now they can't check in until mid afternoon, like, well, maybe two or three, four o'clock, who knows, which means the beach is very desolate. If there's a gonna, if there's going to be a great day to go to the beach, if you're an introvert, Saturday morning and I look forward to that being the introvert that I am it's just you know it's kind of like yeah it's not like I don't I know people there and I'll talk to people there but it's kind of like being in a grocery line where you can have a short exchange but you know within five minutes you're going your way and that person's going theirs I don't want to pick up the energy of people I don't know for too long yeah especially as an as an empath I'm okay with outdoor events says Debbie but don't like crowds indoors and can't stay long introvert too yeah it's just the energy it gets to you there's there's a lot of people there's a lot of energy vampires that are attracted to introverts if you're gonna you know if you're looking if you're feeling drained and there's somebody around you that is just sucking your energy look look at some of the people in, in those situations and they can smell us out if you know because they know that many introverts are empaths as well and you know we want to help everyone right so we're extending our arm out and saying i'll help you but in the meanwhile this guy you know the guy or girl would be like great to suck your energy it's real that stuff's real sarah says i'm also an introvert but i can socialize okay at the time i feel like an outsider so i just try to be friendly i i feel you definitely that's the beauty about being an introvert my mom doesn't believe me when I tell her because she's an extrovert. She goes, oh, I've seen you playing in bands and jumping up on the table and shaking your butt. I go, yeah, but that's 
I'm up there. And it's not just me. It's me with a bunch of other guys jamming. So that's, you know, if it were just me, I wouldn't do that. But I kind of have that freedom to do that because I'm with a bunch of other guys. But because she's an extrovert, my dad's an introvert. But because my mom's an extrovert, she thinks I am too. Oh, you have a radio show or a podcast and you have a podcast on the YouTube. She puts the in front of it. I see you're on the YouTube and the Facebook. <laughs> yes, I enjoy the YouTube and the Facebook. She's so computer illiterate. She refuses to get a cell phone. Just stubborn, you know, like arms folded. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. All of her friends have them. My, my aunts and that are still alive, and they all have, you know, like recent iPhones and stuff like that. My mom, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Wendy corrected herself. I was trying to type me too for tiredness. I don't know how to edit. I don't think you can edit it after you hit enter. I am an introvert. Okay, so you're not in. You're you're with. The rest of us in the in the corner of the room watching the extroverts what if in 5d and i've done this before but you know i've had numerous conferences but what if invite 5d just had like a rented out a a hall to have a meet and greet knowing that like 80 percent of the people that visit in 5d are introverts it's the exact opposite of what society is. Society is usually 20% introverts. But on N5D, I've written a bunch of articles and I put a poll at the end of the article asking, are you introvert or extrovert? And 80% of the people that responded to the poll that follow N5D or, or have read the articles, they're introverts. The exact opposite. So if I had a party or a meetup or something like that, and I rented out a, a big hall like this, would we all gather in like each one of the four corners? Would the would the center of would the center of the hall be empty? <laughs> See, these are one of the, one of the things I think about. You know, as a psychology major, always thinking about why do we do what we do? Introvert, extrovert, that dichotomy fascinates me and of course there's a balance in between some people are called ambiverts and it's kind of like a balance of both i'm pretty good at admitting yeah i'm an introvert i got no issues with that <laughs> 